Hello creative designers, learn how to convert this WooCommerce checkout form to our, to this WooCommerce mode step checkout form. For your information, today we are going to use free resources to create this mode step form, mode step checkout form. Customer has to, to go several steps for the order to be placed. Then you can see the progress here and the order can be placed in the final step. That's the lesson for today. My name is Peter. Welcome to this tutorial. Let's get into action and we get a light. For us now to be able to change this, we all we need to do is go to the dashboard. And on the sidebar section, we go to plugin, we select the button for plugin. And on, on Hofa, you see we have these three options. One is to view all your installed plugin. You can check and install a new plugin from your installed plugin section uh page. You see we have a new button, just a queue the plugin library so the other way you can install a plugin you just come on hover on the plugin button you have a new plugin a new button and click on it to just direct you to the same page the one we had so what we need to do we store the two plugins that you're going to use the first plugin is called the first plugin are going to use called more step checkout you can see it's called woocommerce more step checkout by silky press it has more than 10,000 active installation last updated two weeks ago we installed the plugin by just in, uh, after successful installation just click activate and you activate the plugin and after successful activation we just have to refresh our checkout page and see how it look like if any change happened yeah you can see now we have uh, the most step uh, buttons here you have four steps one for billing the other one is for shipping the other one for alda and payment so if you click next you have now to fill in the shipping address and everything there and you can proceed to the payment and just freeze your order that's how the most step work out we have been able to change this checkout form this one to this checkout form here you can see it will really look good so the other thing now we need to do is we customize all of these we like we have email here and the phone here we need to have them on this section on the front uh, section and we also need to remove some of these options here which are not uh, maybe of so many important to us uh, the shipping form here we also need to remove uh some of this option here yeah so what we need to do is we go to the plugin and we install our second plugin the second plugin that we're going is called it's called woocommerce checkout field editor yeah here we have it it's called checkout field editor for woocommerce it's from dim high it has more than 2000 active installation you can see out of its 13 uh, out of 247 it, it has earned itself a five star latin what you need to do is we install the plugin you can also see it has it was updated two months ago after successful installation we activate the plugin this is a plugin that will help us to edit all these pages uh this from here these details from here so what you need to do first is we go to woocommerce and on hofa on the woocommerce button you see we have two now two steps which have been added let's first start with more step now more step checkout from here you can be able to change the layout of your steps or you can even be able to reduce the steps so if you decide to save this setting here that means you merge the bidding and the shipping address it will be just be combined to be one thing so we have saved it and you can let refresh and see yeah you see now we don't have the shipping button here now the, you don't have the shipping step here so it has been merged together and you see you have to fill in all of them on this section here so i did don't like that i want it to be an independent step so i just untick on it from there you just can come here on design you see here we have a blue color it may vary on your on yours but if you see good for you yeah you can leave it the way it is but if you want to change you just come to the here 
and you just select the, the color you just want to use and you save it the other one we need a pro version we don't have a pro version remember you're using all free resources so when after refresh you see it just changed its color when you just to move to step two you just show now you are on step two that's how you change that color there so the other thing is you come to sex uh, text and setup if you want to change here these buttons here there so if you want to change the login button i don't really think we need to change we just leave it we just leave them the way they are but if you want to change make it something that customer can be able to understand then now customize our form here so what you need to do is you go to woocommerce and select checkout form so this is where we are going to select all the fields that are available here whether you want it to be visible or you don't want it to be visible so for instance if you come and say you don't want the first and the first name and the second name to be visible you just select them and just disable and after you disable and you save so from there you can see for now they are disabled and once you come here and refresh you see we don't have the first and the last name so let's now customize our form we just come and select all of them add enable and you save setting what do you need in your form so i need customer email i need also customer phone number customer post customer seat and city i don't need the address too and i also don't need the name of the company i just disable them and i save the changes after i save the changes i need this email on being the first here and i also need the phone number come after the first and the last name so what you do you just come here and drag and drop the first name there uh, the email just drop the email and the other thing is you just drag and drop the billing phone after the first and the last name and after that you just save let's refresh the page you see our form now have been changed the layout now you have the email starting and the first and the last name being the second and you have now the phone here and we don't have those other that we don't need it so the next thing now is we come to shipping we need to change the shipping we need to customize even the shipping uh, the shipping form so what you just do just select the shipping field here from here you just remove uh, the shipping company uh, you can ship uh, you can remove the shipping address to your shipping city let it be there shipping postal code you can just leave it there they are and you save it from there save the setting and refresh it here so we need to select this our second step you see now we don't have the address two we only have the address one the note for the customer let it be there so from now we go to additional field if you want to add a field from here so you can come here add maybe another comment you can add a one here you just come you just come and select add field here and if you want to maybe add something like customer to select or maybe a radio like that additional label was it easy to shop was it easy to shop using uh, our site like that first one you say the default let it be yes the option here we have now two options from here you say yes the other one you can say no and you can also add an option here 
and you see yeah so it was yes and yes there and the other option here so the other option was no and optional text no like that and you save so after that now you just have come here you just have to come here and refresh your page click on next so you see now you have customer can be able to select an option from here was it easy to shop on our website yes or no customer and we have to click next and proceed to the checkout yeah you can add as many options as you can with this option here called additional fields that's how you do it yeah you see that's the form you have the customer you need now to just click next and proceed to the payment section and uh to place the order and place the order see all this form need to be filled so with just that setting we have been able to create our checkout uh, a mood step checkout form for WooCommerce all for free. Remember all these form all these buttons here need to be filled for the order to be submitted. Yeah. So customer need to go to all those steps for the order to be placed. That's the lesson for today. I hope you really did learn something. If you really did learn something, hit the like button for this video. Remember to subscribe for Remember to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials to follow. My name is Peter and thank you to have you.